Studio presets allow you to save and load different workspace configurations. You can then easily switch between them, which is ideal for different workflows, or where you have multiple people using Affinity Photo on the same machine. We start with Affinity Photo's default layout, which is one studio on the right hand side comprising three sections of panels. Let's say I wanted to add a panel, for example, the scope panel. I would go to Window and enable that, and by default, it appears in the top right panel group. I might also make use of macros and assets. I'll enable the library and assets panels. And as you can see, they actually appear within a different panel layout on the left hand side, and this is known as the left studio. The macro panel also appears on the left studio. At this point, let's say this is my ideal setup of panels. Naturally, I will want to save this in case my panel arrangement changes and I wish to restore it. I can go to Window, Studio, Add Preset. I'll call this Library and Assets. Then either click OK or use Return on the keyboard. This will save the current workspace arrangement as a preset. Now let's say I was to drag some panels around and tear them off from their tabbed groups. I may reach a point where this layout is completely unusable for my workflow. I can just go to Window, Studio, and choose my Library and Assets preset which will instantly return the workspace to the custom layout I previously created. Another purpose for Studio Presets is to quickly adapt the interface for specific workflows. For example, let's say I'm focused on color grading. First, I'll go to Window, Studio, Reset Studio, to reset the workspace to its factory default layout. I might want the histogram panel over on the left, so I'll drag that, and snap it to the left studio. In addition, I'll expose the scope panel, drag that to the left, and offer it underneath the histogram panel. I can also grab the channels panel and snap it underneath the scope panel. And then I may also want to enable the snapshots panel to save different versions of my document as it will enable me to quickly toggle between different color grades. Now I could snap this next to the channels panel to create a panel group, or I could offer it just above. To change the order, I can simply grab panels with a left click and drag and move them around. The channels panel is quite tall, so I have to offer the snapshots panel down here. But then I can resize the channels panel by click dragging near the bottom of it. Finally, I may not particularly need certain panels for a color grading workflow. So I can drag out and close the stock panel and the brushes panel. Once I have finalized this layout, I can save it. So once again, I'll go to Window, Studio, Add Preset. I'll call this one Color Grading. Now if I go back to Window, Studio, I can easily toggle between my saved presets. To delete or rename presets, I can go to Window, Studio, Manage Studio Presets. Here I can apply a preset to quickly preview its layout, rename it, or delete it. And there we go. A quick look at saving custom workspace layouts in Affinity Photo. Thank you for watching.